Okay, everyone, back with another video on the Allen & Heath QU Mixer Interface uh, Series. Again, I'm doing these videos because I don't really see a lot of videos, especially on YouTube, about the QU Mixer's uh, interface, and they just got a new ASIO driver, and uh, it really has changed everything, and it really has improved on a lot of stuff. So just very quickly, I did a video on how to install the driver, but just very quickly, uh, if you go to the Allen & Heath website, go to products, go to QU, um, that's the mixer that I have. And then you're going to get to this page, go to software, go down to software, QU, uh, Windows ASIO driver, click down on it. The latest version is 4.86 as of the time that I'm recording this video, right? So how do you know what version you have? Click on the Windows. Uh, tab, type the word device, um, and device manager should pop up, and we're going to go over, and uh, you should look in your list, and you should see something that says uh, QU audio devices, and when you right-click, I happen to have the QU16, when you right-click on it, go to properties, click on drivers, you see 4.86, the same one from the uh website of Allen Heath 4.86. Okay, so now that we have that established, you have your drivers established. Just one other quick thing. Let's just go to sound, the sound settings, and you'll see choose your input, your output device rather. Um, is the QU16 stereo one is what you want it to be. And your input is the stereo out. Yes, I know it's input and they call it out. I'll explain that in a second as to why that is. All right, that's all set up. So just to let you know what's happening, uh, I'm on OBS 26.0.2. Uh, 26 that's the version of OBS that I'm using, okay? Click settings on OBS, bring it over so you can see it over here. And we're gonna go to the audio tab. Uh, so the audio tab, uh, it's great. You have the sample right now is 48 on the new OBS. Here's what we want to deal with. Uh, global audio devices. Desktop audio, QU16 Stereo 1, like I showed you in Windows. And the mic auxiliary is the stereo out, QU16. This is how it should be set up. Okay, so now I'm going to switch to my cell phone video because I'm going to be showing you stuff that's happening on the board and uh, also stuff that's happening in OBS. So it's just a little bit easier for me to go back and forth. I know it's the quality isn't as good and the sound isn't as good, but I think this will just make things a little bit easier to, to deal with. Okay, so now the first thing that we'll deal with is getting microphone sound into OBS, right? So let me just get my mic ready. So now when we come here, click on channel. My mic happens to be plugged into channel one. So channel one is all set up. Bring up the fader. Left, right, bring up the fader to Unity. And now let's just click it so that you see what's happening. I'm going to talk into my microphone. Check two, one, two. You can see, try to get the glare out. Check two. You can see the gain is happening. That's, that's there. It's up. And now let's go to OBS. And now you see check two, one, two. That's the microphone that's happening, right? As I talk into my microphone, you see it happening in OBS. Terrific, wonderful. Now, I'm gonna turn that down. Just for now, by the way, you can you know adjust everything with the fader. I'm adjusting the fader here. And then you'll see that my level went down quite a bit, of course. So whatever is coming into the QU16 can be adjusted with the faders out uh, in OBS. So the desktop audio, I'm going to use my tripod here a little bit and let's zoom in just a little bit so you can see what's happening. So let's bring up any audio source, whether you're doing an MP3 um, player that you have, or it's Spotify, or it's uh, a Pandora, or any of those uh, type of things. Now, any audio that's being played from your computer, let me mute my mic, you'll see the desktop audio is moving. 
because this is the sound that's coming out of your mp3 player or whatever your music source is through your computer you don't need any virtual cables you don't need uh banana uh um whatever it is banana cable or, or uh, voice meter you don't need any of that stuff it's you can get your audio coming out of your computer directly into obs by the setup that i showed you you don't need any virtual cables and you can uh do the 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 input volume right you can you can see it's increasing so use the input volume on whatever your source is or of course you can use the the fader in obs to adjust your volume coming back to the board let me just mute that you can do the same thing technically through your board as well so i'll show you that's why i needed to come back and forth so stereo one is where your audio is coming into right from your computer so left and right is up but your stereo one is down the fader is down but if we look at look at it it's getting a signal from the computer this is the audio that's coming from the computer okay right see i shut up and and uh it's still moving but if you look at uh obs you don't see any of them oh, let me unmute it you don't see any of the meters moving that's me talking let me go back bring down my mic come back to it so now that i'm talking no meters but the meter for stereo one is moving because that sound that's coming from it so how do you get that into obs stereo one fader bring your fader up when you bring the fader up, you see sound coming out. There, fader is up. You have sound. When I'm bring, I'm bringing the fader down. Went up. Bring the fader up. You see the volume is increasing in OBS. Nothing is happening to the, the gain. If I bring the fader down, I can bring the fader down all the way, but you still see it's getting a signal. So anything that is coming out of the QU16 is what is going to be registered in this fader over here that's labeled QU that we set up as the auxiliary mic, okay? In addition to doing it that way, you can now do zoom that way i know a lot of people want to let me stop this a lot of people want to record their zoom uh, uh meetings in obs so let's go back to obs let me open up zoom for you and we're gonna have zoom over here do it let's go to the settings and bring it over so you can see it audio again set up the same way speaker test right when you click on the speaker test, you have that, that chime that, that's happening. I'll turn up the volume so you can hear that because there's no copyright happening with that. Right. right? So you see it moving. And then now if you go back to the cell phone cam, you see where it says desktop audio. Right? It's registering. So the point of that is... Let me shut off that up. The point of that is anything that's coming out of Zoom is going to register on the fader that's labeled desktop audio. So all of your participants that's happening, um, that's in the, the Zoom meeting, you will hear their voices in OBS. Okay, now we just have to make sure for Zoom that you are being heard with your uh, Zoom um, uh, participant. So let's go to your stereo left and right channel one right make sure you come up and now when you go into there you see your it's happening and now i'm going to click back over to there and now you see with my zoom i'm speaking into the microphone one two check, check. i'm going to bring down the the fader on my qu16 see it doesn't happen anymore i'm bringing the fader up on my qu16 and there you have audio coming into zoom so you want to record your zoom meeting 
you can have the audio from your participants, you have the audio from yourself. And then of course in uh, OBS, you've got to set it up. I have, as you can see, I have three monitors here. So I use my monitor as a display. So what you would do is click add and display capture is what I use. And then when I click display capture, I tell OBS what monitor I want. Here for me, it's my monitor two is my left monitor. And then so now anything that's happening on my left monitor is what I'm going to record. You hit record. The sound from the desktop audio is going to be the audio from the Zoom. Your QU16 is the audio from you. And you're all set. Again, the point of this was that you don't need any of the virtual cables. You don't need the banana cable. You don't need any of that stuff. It's all through the Allen & Heath QU16. All right. No, it was kind of long, but I hope that that helps and it clears things up and it makes things actually easier with this new driver that came out. All right. Talk to you soon. Thank you.